respected principal, teachers, and my dear friends, I would like to start my speech with the lines. Water water, everywhere, nor any drop to drink. Famous lines, from the poem The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Every year on the 22nd of March, World Water Day is observed internationally. It is a UN observance day, to create a public awareness, about the importance of water in human life, and for the sustainable management of freshwater. World Water Day, is also used to highlight required improvements for access to water, sanitation, hygiene facilities in developing countries. Three most essential things, for humans to survive in this plane, tea may be easily identified as air, water, and food. Thousands of years back, people understood the importance of water, and planned their lives around water streams. Moreover many world civilizations were born and developed around water. As our population increased, pressure to tap more and more resources also increased, which lead to the overuse and exploitation of all natural resources. As a result of this human greed over centuries, today, communities across the world faces acute water shortages and air pollution. At present day, one person in three people live without safe drinking water. Freshwater makes up a very small fraction of all water on the planet. While nearly 70% of the world is covered by water, only 2.5% of it is fresh. The rest is saline and ocean-based. Even then, just 1% of our freshwater is easily accessible, with much of it trapped in glaciers and snowfields. In essence, only 0.007% of the planet's water is available to fuel and feed its 6.8 billion people. According to UNICEF, lack of clean water access leads to the death of 1.6 million kids each year. Most of these children live in developing countries and are younger than 5 years old. The majority of people without access to water live in rural isolated areas and spend hours collecting water. Today, access to safe drinking water is not a guarantee for many people across the world. Today, we are left with a crisis where over 663 million people are living without a safe water supply, close to their homes, spending countless hours queuing or trekking to distant sources and trying to cope up with the health impacts of using contaminated water. Even today unfortunately, women must walk an average of 6 kilometers for their drinking water in Asia and Africa. World Water Day is a United Nation initiative and is all about educating our society about the preciousness of water and taking action to tackle the water crisis. The theme of World Water Day 2022 is groundwater, making the invisible visible. The theme aims to highlight how important groundwater is to our environment. Groundwater is recharged mainly from rain and snowfall, infiltrating the ground. Groundwater can be extracted to the surface by pumps and wells. Groundwater contributes to around half of all our drinking water and provides 40% of water for irrigated agriculture. Communities that don't have access to safe water look to groundwater as an alternative source of drinking water. Do you know, bottled water is a billion dollar industry at present. We, the people are being brutally exploited by the countless water companies. They repackage tap water and sell it back to society. According to Food and Water Watch, 64% of bottled water is just tap water sold for very high price. The United Nations General Assembly formally recognized that access to water and sanitation is a human right. The water must be safe, and the water must not cost more than 3% of the household income. This world is not only for us. This is also for our future generations. It's important that we not only live here, but also leave a warm and fresh environment for our future generations. We, as students, can also play our part in building up this awareness among the society. Today let's declare that water is as precious as gold, and we will not waste it unnecessary. Let's encourage water conservation techniques like rainwater harvesting and water recycling for sanitation and gardening. Let's be vigilant about water pollution. Let's not allow our fresh water bodies to be used at dump yards for waste. It's the responsibility of every citizen around the globe to be a part of this exercise so that we can make this world a better place. On this auspicious day, all of us should take a pledge that we have to save water from getting polluted in any way and also take care of our environment. Let me conclude my speech with this warning. The next world war will be fought over water, not politics. 
let us keep this in mind and be alert to save water.